Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my new show. I went on hiatus for a while. I decided to scrap the uh, G Fires Music Museum thing. It wasn't working out, but my new show is called Gregory Allen TV. I'm just gonna do whatever, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it more than my original show. My first episode, I want to talk about the Model 3DO that I have. And I want to talk about how to burn games for the 3DO because I know there's a lot of people out there on YouTube, including me, before I figured out how to do it and get it to work the right way, that they still want to know how to do it. They still don't know how to do it. I figured out a real simple way to do it, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it and talk to you guys about how to do it and the steps and all that. But first, let's take a look at the model... 3DO that I'm going to be playing the burn games on to show you. This is my uh, 3DO here. If uh, any of you old school uh, game collectors know, this is the uh, model FC, FZ1. The very first model of it that uh, Panasonic did when the system first came out back in 93 price tag on this bad boy was freaking seven hundred dollars and this is the original FC one my dad got the day after it came out so my dad paid seven hundred dollars for this thing which is freaking crazy I would have never paid that much for a game system but kudos to my dad because this is the original one like I said it has never quit working it probably never will quit working because this is the most solid version of the 3DO that I know of anyway. I don't really know anything about the FZ10 or the Gold Star version or anything like that. But um, So yeah, that's, that's this one. Obviously most of you guys already know about the one controller port, the power, and the uh, uh, eject button here on the other side. On the back, there is RF, which really doesn't make a difference anymore. Uh, the channel 3 and 4, S video, uh, the AVO cables, you know, right and left uh, stereo output and the video output. Um, later on here in a minute, when I do, when I show you guys the burned games that I have, that I've burned so far. I will be doing the video with S video and the audio is obviously going to be right and left because that's all there is for the audio but I uh, just wanted to show you that really quick and then I have the actual FZ1 controller um, I probably should have undone the cord but it is the FZ1 where it has the uh, headphone jack and it has the volume thing on the side there but um, if you can see it, yeah, it's the actual FZ1 uh, controller. Um, and these are the three games that I have burned so far. I've got Guardian War, Hell of Cyberpunk Thriller, and Total Eclipse, which I actually did used to have a, an, a genuine copy of that for my 3DO. I don't know what happened to it. I lost it somewhere between moving from Bolingbroke to Joliet and then from Joliet moving here to where I'm at now and the disc for it got lost but anyway those are the three burned games that I have so far all the rest of the 3DO games that I have they are the actual 3DO copies so those are the only three I've burned so far but let's uh, hook this up and let's see how the burn games are on Alright guys, I got my 3DO hooked back up here on my uh, little 32 inch here that I got in the guest room. I'm gonna power this bad boy on and you'll see uh, the 3DO logo come up obviously. So I will put in my burned copy of Total Eclipse first. Just to show you that this business works. Used a uh, expo because 
so I won't really play any of them I just want to put them in there individually real quick just to show you that these uh, burn games do work and if you do it the right way which is the way I'll tell you guys here that uh, you can do burn games also just waiting for this thing to load there we go burned copy of total eclipse I won't really uh, I'm not gonna go the, through the intro or anything here. Quite obviously the intro works the way it's supposed to. But I'm not gonna do that business. But yeah, so... It's quite obvious that it runs because I'm going through everything, so... I would actually play a little bit of the game but it's kind of hard to hold this camera and play at the same time so Burn games take a little bit longer to load than the actual copies just because of the fact that they're burned, but the game runs perfect, so that's worth it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good old Guardian War, probably one of my favorite RPGs on the 3DO next to Slayer. I didn't really like Death Keep that much, but Slayer was cool though. So Yeah, that's that. Surprisingly, Guardian War and Total Eclipse didn't really run too smooth right after I burned them, but after I played both of them a couple times, the burn copies ran real good, but for some reason hell right off the bat was just smooth I don't know why but that's how it ended up and should be coming up here soon yep there's the intro with that like fly gargoyle thing mashing the 3DO logo and flying away with it But yeah, these uh, these three games work perfectly. They got they run with absolutely no problems. So I don't know if I can skip this business or not. Yeah, I gotta hit the C button. But yeah, here's the title screen, obvious or the main menu. So yeah, that's uh. That's all my burn games so far, so let's talk about how to do this. Alright guys, so in order to burn 3DO games, there's really only three main things you need. Number one, I highly suggest you download the free uh, disk burn program, Image Burn. Just go to Google, type in IMG Burn and make sure it's all one word and it should be the first or second thing that comes up in the results and just download it because that program makes it so ridiculously easy you can set your disk burn speed for the drive that you're going to use you can set it all the way up to like 100x or something like that and the absolute slowest speed you can set it at is 1x burning 3DO games you want it 
to go as slow as possible. Like on the laptop that I have, the absolute slowest it'll let me go is 10x. It won't let me go any slower than that for burning 3DO games. But image burn, burn it as slow as possible. The slower the better, the smoother it'll be when you play them. That, that's, that's the first step. The second step is is you got to have good quality blank discs to use. I highly recommend these uh, colored Memorex uh, CDRs. Now they don't necessarily have to be colored, but um, I would suggest the, the ones that say music on them. They say music right there, right above where it says CDR. The reason I suggest the music ones is because they have real high quality uh, audio output output on these uh, CDRs. And it makes the sound effects and the music for the 3DO games or whatever other games you're going to be burning. The audio output on these CDs is freaking fantastic. On the three 3DO games that I showed you that I burned at the beginning, the music and the sound effects on those games are phenomenal on these discs. And, you know, there's black and blue and even though it's not in here purple, but and pink and orange and yellow, it, the, the colors don't really make a difference. It's just there to, you know, for variety or whatever, I guess, but... I strongly suggest you get these CDs because because of the auto audio quality and they're they're easy to burn and pretty much every 3DO game will fit out one disc on these. So that's three step number two is you just need a good solid either emulator website or some like retro game website that has the ISOs for the 3DO games that you want. I'll put a bunch of links down below in the D-Box for you guys for Image Burn and for the websites that I use to uh, download ISOs for 3DO games and Saturn games and whatever else. I'll, I'll make sure I put links down there for you guys if you guys don't know where to start. But um, those are that's really the only three things you need, man. Image Burn, high quality blank discs and a solid website to download the ISOs from. Image burn is so easy to use guys it, it literally took me two minutes to figure out how to burn the games and get the 3DO games to run perfectly. So if any of you guys have questions or if you want to leave comments or anything about you know anything more in detail about how to burn 3DO games freaking PM me leave comments Whatever it takes, man. If you guys need help, that's what I'm all about. So, thank you guys for watching, and keep it heavy.